Hey everybody, it's James. I'm back to make another YouTube video. It has been kind of a funk over the past week or so. But now I want to talk about something that I always thought was really cool, and something I think you would find cool too. Codnick soda bottles. Now, this last Thursday, as I was starting to slowly come out of my funk, I went out to a place in Virginia with some friends of mine to go to an H Mart, a Korean grocery store. And while I was there, I picked up some bottles, two bottles, of the only soda I drink, and even then only rarely. I don't normally like sodas very much. Ramune. Ramune is a popular Japanese soda, and it is notable for being one of only two major soda brands to use a codneck or marble stopper, indeed. It's often been called marble soda for this exact reason. But how does this work and why? Well, I'd like to talk a little bit about the history of it. Now this is called the Codneck bottle, disappointingly, not because it's not because of a relation to fish. Disappointing to me anyways, but because its inventor was an Englishman named Hiram Cod. And he was involved in the soft drink business, and what fascinates me about this mechanism is that this is a very old mechanism. It's, like, just based on some cursory research on Wikipedia, the, this, the Codneck bottle is the second oldest stopper mechanism outside of the cork that I could find on Wikipedia. The other one was sort of like a flip top that you often still find on mason jars and such. But Hiram... Hiram Codd was a soft drink manufacturer. He wanted to find a way to seal bottles quickly and easily. So, eventually, what he was able to do with his mineral water company, some of his partners, is develop a bottle that was filled upside down. It's filled upside down with gas pressure. Gas pushes the soft drink into the bottle and the gas pressure inside, and the pressure of the carbonation, forces the marble, right here, down into a rubber stopper in the bottle cap. So it just pushes it down and seals it off. The marble stops any of the liquid from getting out. So you can store it like this, you can store it like this. Ideally, when the marble's stuck, you can store it sideways, and it's not going to spill. So the marble is just kept in place by the massive internal pressure, and the bottles typically have to be a little bit thicker to compensate for that pressure. You can't really do a codneck plastic bottle, at least not to my knowledge. So the question you're probably wondering is, okay, that's cool. It's like, oh, you fill it upside down, just the pressure makes the marble go boop. But why? Why? Like, like how do you open it? It's an interesting question, and it's something that took me a little while to figure out the first time I got one of these, which has a pleasing lemon-lime flavor. It's a little bit of an acquired taste, but I do recommend them. And they're, they're in most grocery stores in the international section, just where they keep lots of, like, imported foods. So if you're ever around one, I highly recommend you pick it up, at least for the try. And it took me a little while to understand it, but thankfully... They have directions printed on the cap now. <laughs> because sometimes people just have problems. And I'm one of them. So basically how it's set up is like this. You go into a grocery store. And it's like this. Plastic wrapper. Plastic bits on top. Marble should be inside the top. You peel off this little plastic thing and it has all the directions you need. First, it recommends you serve it chilled. You remove the plastic film and you pop out this cap. And then you pop out the center of the cap, which is shaped basically just like a little plastic T. And what this serves as, is as an integral bottle opener that comes in the cap. When the marble's up here, you just put it on top of the bottle and push the marble down into the bottle. When you push the marble down so that it's no longer engaged with the rubber stopper, it just falls into like this little narrow neck area. 
and the bottle in, in the liquid in the bottle just starts to like fizz up and there's like all this gas is released because hey you're releasing like the cap of carbonation it's kind of like the you get with screw caps but instead you're pushing a marble into a bottle it can be a little bit difficult at first just like if if you're not if it's not going in just do it harder that's the only advice i can give just like you you think you're doing it hard enough you're wrong and then so now that you have the marble in the thing, the question that, have, that the people often ask is, how do I drink out of this? Because what happens? Well, you tilt it to drink. Uh-oh, marble rolls into the lid, blocks the flow of liquid. I'll actually do a demonstration of that in just a moment in my kitchen sink. But what you're supposed to do is you take it like this, and you see these two indentations right here act as a marble stopper. So you can tilt it up and let the liquid come out, and you can, like, drink from it without the marble blocking the flow. And they've done bottle variations where there's, like, slits in the cap, so that like, liquid can flow freely even with the marble there. But I, I think this is easy enough as it is. I think it's pretty simple. I can drink it pretty freely. And that's how you drink out of a codneck bottle. And that's just a little bit of the physics and the history. Fun fact, these actually predate, well, they obviously predate screw caps, but they even predate, like, Fallout-style, like, bottle caps, like the ones that they use as currency in the Fallout universe. They were predate the original one, the Crown Cork model. By some measure, it's like 20 years, I want to say, is what it said. This is an old design, and I think it's a really cool one. It's also used for an Indian soft drink known as Banta. But now that I'm done explaining how you drink from this, I'm going to do a brief like demonstration of like how you actually like drink from it using the magic of editing in my kitchen sink. We are now in my kitchen, and through the magic of editing, this bottle is also filled with water. Surely wonders will not start will not stop this night. Now first let's see how effectively the marble can hold a kit but can hold liquid in the bottle when it's upside down. As you can see it spills out a little bit when the marble's not there, but once it's in, there's a pretty spectacular seal that's holding the water in very well. And if you're drinking from it, this could pose a bit of a problem. Now, something you could do is shake it a little bit, just so, like, the marble drifts up into the liquid a little bit, drifts up out of the cap, and you get little bits of water or soda out. But that's just, frankly, it's just non-optimal. It's challenging. So, the way they prescribe you do it is to roll it like this. So the marble, as you can see, is caught in the indentations, and you can drain it pretty well. Now the only advice I'd give is don't tip it too much, because then the flow of water can, can grab the marble and roll it forward. But generally, so long as you're careful, you can get it all the way empty. And that's a bit on how the Codneck bottle was made, where it's used today, how you open it, and how you drink from it. I really like these little suckers. And I hope after today you appreciate them a little bit more too. Tune in next week where I talk about... There was going to be a joke about me just talking about an obs another obscure type of bottle, but frankly, I don't know enough about bottling to make that happen. Which is a shame. I learned how hamster bottles work. That's pretty cool. Hey, y'all. I am back once again through the magic of video editing to go into overtime. I also have, through the magic of video editing, my dollar store whiteboard. Now, if you're anything like me, you like small rodents. And one thing I've wondered about for a long time is hamster water bottles. And I'll explain why in just a bit. First, let me draw a little fuzzy little devil. Herp. Herp. There we 
go. I'll give him feet. Give him. This is the worst hamster in human history. But something you've probably wondered about is how their water bottles work. Because they're always mounted like upside down. So, by all rights, it looks like water should just, just spray out and empty out immediately and splash the little critter and leave him soaked. But they don't. How do they do that? How do they work? Well, wouldn't you know it, it turns out that hamster water bottles operate on a similar principle to codneck water bottles. You see, as I'm going to erase this little hamster as well, you see, in the tube of the water bottle, there is a ball bearing. And what that ball bearing does is it acts like the marble in a codneck bottle. It acts like a stopper. And because it's inclined downwards, the marble will always just roll down into the front of the spout and stop any water behind it from getting out. Well, how do you drink from it then? What a hamster does, or any small rodent, is they go up to it and then they lick it with their absurdly long tongues, as demonstrated in this diagram. And what the licking action does is it rolls the ball bearing back into the tube. And what this allows to happen is it allows water to flow past the ball bearing and into the hamster's mouth or other rodent. So, in a sense, it's kind of similar to how a cotton neck bottle works. Marble acts as a stopper, except when it's rolled back and you can access the liquid freely. In this, in this, of course, a sort of catcher acts as the mechanism to keep it. But in the hamster case, you would just, like, you would sort of, like, if the marble was here, you would just lick it away, and then the liquid would be able to flow into your mouth freely. And that's sort of how hamster water bottles work. And... Believe it or not, space pens also work in kind of a similar principle. Space pens, the ink is pressurized, so as the ball rolls, ink is forced out onto the page. Now, in normal ballpoint pens, that's done with gravity, but no gravity in space. So, the pressurized ink cartridges force the ink onto, like, the ball and makes it go onto the page, even in space, even upside down, even it, even when there's no gravity at all. So yeah, this became a sort of long-form video on how a soda bottle, a hamster water bottle, and a space pen are all connected. I got nothing else to go to from here. See you later.